guys are great. Uh, good morning from my front area so just happened to be the right moment where I could get a shot of these guys um, installing a one quarter inch thick gravel overlay and this takes a tremendous amount of material and a tremendous amount of effort to permanently install and it might last for a little while this road was in very bad shape so I've been watching it decay over the years but this is what it takes today to install a temporary road it's temporary at best and there's so many layers here it's the roadway is built up there's it's probably a foot of asphalt underneath all of this i don't think they've torn any out in a while i wonder how they made roads in the 1800s so easily moving all the gravel without a care and those old roads are better here come the rollers. So you can get an idea of what's used. So it's a, uh, what they would refer to as chip basalt. It's uh, smaller than gra gravel, base rock, um, landscaping rock, structural rocks, boulders. This is the, we're getting down to the fines. Uh, there's some finer versions where they screen it just to the smallest, almost like sand, and then actual sand. So this is an asphalt emulsion lamination. So they applied the strong emulsion directly over the uh, cleaned and prepared 
existing asphalt embedded with basalt chip. It's going to stand unmodified for the next two weeks and then they will do like a slurry seal over a driveway. So they're going to just apply another another uh, emulsion coat with sand in it and that will become the new road surface. So overall surface is going to increase by about one quarter inch. Uh, each of the tender dump trucks that were with the gravel spreader uh, were carrying loads of 12 tons each. So And there was a lot of them in use. So they're just wrapping up for uh, regular traffic and the speed limit has been reduced to 35 miles an hour. We're just looking at uh, a little modern construction but it was noteworthy uh, while speaking with the uh, foreman and estimator for the project they are a, a contracting company out of Redding California and they travel as far south as Arizona and they have a large crew of traveling uh, employees. I had asked him about uh, the style of repair that they were doing and if he had unlimited funding to do this job the right way, which I explained to him would have been the removal of all the asphalt, proper compaction of roadbed with gravel, and uh, correcting any bumps and undermining in the surface, and then going back with a new surface area, new, brand new surface. In fact, I recommended a 12 inch thick concrete slab like is done in the mountains uh, on the way over the Sierra Nevadas into Lake Tahoe and Reno area. He said it would be five times the expense, five times the price of the job. So this is a Napa County funded project and Napa County is one of the wealthiest counties in the world and from the conversation with the builder they have chosen the least expensive least lasting surface area available tried to ask him what the warranty was for the uh, surface which i believe may have trouble after the first significant rains and he would not tell me i don't know the warranty on this one maybe nothing maybe no warranty so this is where we are this is where we are today with modern building and infrastructure